Good day, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to look at how we make something called a floor plan and how we would make a 3D model from that floor plan. So a floor plan is when we take something like a house and we take the roof off and we look down from the top and we can see where all of the layouts of the walls and the furniture would go. So it's a very useful document when we're trying to design a house, for instance, or trying to design any kind of space, really. So the first thing we're going to need is a floor plan. Um, what I would like, what I usually do is I go to this website, pinterest.co.uk, type in floor plan and see which ones that there are, just try and find a good one. Um, you can also just go use Google images, there are thousands on the internet. Okay, so when we look at our floor plan, it's also, you want to try and keep it simple. Um, which means not too many rooms and you it's nice if it's got a little bit of detail around it as well So the one I'm going to use is this one here If I just click on it, okay, I'm just gonna right click save the image as Floor plan one Okay, and there's my floor plan so now that I've downloaded that floor plan onto the computer, the next thing is to get it into SketchUp. And the way that's going to work is I do this. Do the menu, import from my device. Okay, so I'm going to import this file into SketchUp. Click on the floor plan, click open. And I want to tell SketchUp that this is going to be an image. And then as soon as I move the mouse, the image appears, I'm going to lock it into the origin, click one time, give it a little bit of size, and I'll click again. Okay, and then it'll automatically just look a little bit blurred, but don't worry about that too much. That's just the way that it lays out. We'll, we'll fix that in a second. Good. Okay, so now we've got our image into SketchUp. Um, I don't need Steve. <clears throat> He's not invited to my house. Okay. The next thing then is we need to make sure this floor plan is at the right size. So I'm going to click standard views, which is this movie clapperboard. And then you'll have a view that says standard views. And I'm going to click the top view. Okay, and now you can see that it's a perfectly great image. Right, if I measure from here to here, Okay, at the moment, that's 103 centimeters in my scale. But what I want it to be is 4.1 meters. So the way that we do that is if we click on the tape measure and I say from this point to this point is going to be 410. Okay, so I've just typed in 410. And now when I press enter, I'm asked, do I want to resize the model? And the answer is OK. And now the model has become much larger. So if I try to look back at the bit we were just looking at now, I try to measure this bit again. From here to here is now 4.14 meters. So that's probably my measured inaccuracy. But you can see it's around 4.1 meters, which means we're now working at the right scale. Okay, so SketchUp now thinks this image is the right size, which is great. Okay, the next thing to do is we're going to just fill out some walls. Right, so let me just, and what I think we'll do is we'll just do this bit around the pool for a little bit. Okay, so we are going to use the pencil tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm using the trackpad at home, so it's a little bit difficult for me to do, but I'm sure we'll get there. Okay. Right. When I've used the pencil to draw a rectangle, because it's now an enclosed shape, 
it's gone white faced and we can't see behind it if I do this if I do a rectangle and it doesn't quite close you see how it stays uh, hollow on the inside. It'll only fill in when I close it. Okay, so that's how you know you've got a, a complete circuit. So if I now come down to here, and because it's trying to snap, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more. Don't quite go that far. Come back that way. There we go. And now we've got a nice little thinner wall. Um, and now on this side, I'm going to do a rectangle there. And then I'm going to just finally put a rectangle at the bottom here. There's a rectangle there. And then I'll just use the... I'll just come around this corner just to show how the, that looks as well. So I'm just going to do... Um, around the corner and I'll just go as far as this and then back again okay and then there's my first there's my first set of walls okay so next comes my favorite part of SketchUp okay so next thing we're gonna do is build the walls up okay so this wall is going to come up and it's going to be uh, three meters, so three M. Okay, the next wall, I'm just going to come up and I'm going to move my mouse to make sure it's the same height as this one. And then this one is going to come up, and it's going to be the same height as this one. This one's going to come up and I'm going to move my mouse over to this wall to make sure it's the same height. And then same one here. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to just bridge some gaps, which isn't shown on the uh, floor plan, but you can imagine that they're going to be there. So if I just scroll in, just maybe come down this much, and then push pull across to here. Do the same on this side. Like that. Okay, and I'll just put very quickly, I'm gonna put a rectangle here. So this isn't a wall, this is just a rectangle. There's one, and you'll see why I'm gonna do that in a second. Okay, and then finally, just move this one up a little bit and then put again, one little rectangle over this gap there like that. Okay, so lastly, let's put some materials on here. Um, the easiest one first of all is glass and mirrors and I think a nice dark glass there 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 that's the single rectangles that I've just filled in okay so those are the single rectangles that we've just filled in and then I just need to find something to pattern my 
I quite like this kind of wood. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, once again, get the image into the get the image into SketchUp, scale it to be the right size, add the walls, add some windows, and then finally add a last material. Okay, now we have a fully three dimensional view of a house that we could be designing. Okay, so I can't wait to see what you build. Any questions, let me know. Other than that, I'll see you all soon. Take care.